Bright broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If you're return subscribers, thank you for your support. And if it's the first time you're passing part by, um, you're welcome to like, subscribe, share, put the thumbs down if you don't like what I'm talking about. And that's basically it. I'm born in the UK of Jamaican parents. I tend to cover all different types of topics that I feel are useful, where I think people are being treated unjustly. Um, and really, it's to raise awareness for people who might not have access to certain information. So that's what I do. I'm not an authority on any subject. I'm not qualified in any subject. I just um, pick up subjects that I have a passion about and I give my opinion on it. And like I said, a lot of times it's just my opinion and I support it with whatever sources I get it from. So I hope that's clear. Now, today I wanted to talk about um, the countries that have been added to the ban list. In particular, I wanted to talk about Nigeria. Nigeria has been added to the list of banned countries that cannot apply for permanent residency in the United States. Um, they reckon that the only people they're allowing to um, get residency, permanent residency, or apply for the lottery are people who have merits. So the suggestion is, or the implication is, or the inference is, is that Nigeria has no merit. It doesn't matter that they're 4% higher with their PhDs than the, the white American. That doesn't matter. That doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't matter that they're the most educated ethnic minority group in the USA. That doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to matter that they've got 198.8 million people in Nigeria. That doesn't give them any credibility either. But what Trump is saying is that they are, for the safety of the United States, they're preventing them from applying for permanent residence. Now, that doesn't make sense, does it? You, They can come in as visitors. They can come in as short term, like tourists or on a work permit. They just cannot apply to be a citizen. Now, if the reason for the ban is safety or security, why are they allowing them in as tourists? And why are they allowing them in as short-term workers on the, B, on the B visa? It doesn't make any sense. So I smell a rat because it cannot be a security issue. Otherwise, they would ban them full stop. And I don't know what they're going to do with the amount of them that they have in there already. So what could be the reason? I think, personally, I think the reason is they've suddenly realised, oh, how many have they got in America? I mean, I'm going to tell you how many Nigerians they have. Okay. 380,785 US residents report Nigerian ancestry in the United States. Nigerians make up by far the largest population of African immigrants living in the US, numbering about 327,000. So what he should really be saying is that, OK, we have 327,000 legal immigrants. We don't want any more. Simple. Unless they're not allowed to say that. So he has to make it look like they're a security threat. It'd be different if they had people coming from Boko Haram, because in Boko Haram, I think nearly 38,000 got killed. It's in, it's in North um, northern Nigeria. It's a Mus predominantly Muslim, and they had that big ruckus in 2011. But that was, that was in Nigeria. It wasn't on American soil. So it doesn't make sense to include Nigeria in the list of banned countries. You have to come up with a better excuse than that, Trump. Really. It doesn't make any sense. So anyway, I was listening to a video um, by, what was her name now? I'm going to tell you, Carol, Carol Angelo. What she said is that Nigeria... 
actually, I'm going to let you, let me see if I can let you listen to her. It makes it easier than me repeating. And then because her she speaks quite fast, I may have to repeat it anyway, but just in case. Let's see if I can find her first. I didn't really plan to show her, that's why she, I haven't got her prepared. Okay, well here she I is. I am Carol Angela Davis, I've got your news today. Okay folks, the Trump administration, as you know, has issued an order to stop offering a path to residency to nationals from Eritrea, Kyrgyzstan, Nigeria, Sudan, Myanmar, and Tanzania. That's right, folks. Trump arguing that immigrants, folks, should only be allowed into the United States on the basis of merit, folks, and not through any lottery system, or certainly not through any chain migration system, which, of course, is how Melania's parents got their citizenship a couple years ago. But we're borrowing the Nigerians. So let's talk a little bit about the Nigerian. Who is this Nigerian that has no merit? Let's talk about them. Well, first of all, you should know Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa, Africa with 100 90.8 million people as of 2018. You should also know it is the African country of origin with the most migrants here in the United States. There's a method to that madness, okay? The 2016 American Community Survey, well, it estimates that 380,785 U.S. residents report Nigerian ancestry, but get this, and this is where it gets deep. Please stay with me. According to the United States Census Bureau, 4% of Nigerians hold a PhD. That, folks, is compared to 1% of the general U.S. population. They're way ahead. Also, 17% of Nigerians hold a master's degree and 37% have bachelor's degrees. These are people who are supposedly have no merit. According to data provided by Rice University in Texas, Nigerian Americans, folks, they are the most educated ethnic group in the United States. Sounds like merit to me. According to the Migrations Policy Institute, 29% of Nigerian Americans have graduate degrees. That is compared to 11% for the overall American population ahead. And a minimum of 4% of Nigerian Americans are also PhD holders. Folks, that is at least three times higher than any other ethnic group in the United States of America. More than 70% of black doctors in the United States are now Nigerian of Nigerian descent. That brings me to our slave word, macabre, for tending to produce horror in a beholder, folks. If you don't get a sense of macabre from hearing how we are barring Nigerians, obviously clearly because they are <clears throat> superior performers, then there's something wrong with you. You need to get out there and don't go to you better vote. Vote in mass. People, stop getting played. Vote. I'm Carol Angela Davis. We think I'm Nigerian. Okay, like I said, she did speak quite fast. Well, she felt quite fast to me because I had to listen to it about three times to really understand what she said. But there again, um, that's no disrespect to her. That's just because, you know, maybe I'm going a bit deaf or something. Anyway, I just wanted to repeat. Nigeria has a population of 190.8 million as of 2018. Most of the migrants in the United States got citizenship through chain migration, including Melania Trump and um, Trump's son-in-law. Um, 380,785 U.S. residents report Nigerian ancestry. Um, Nigerians make up by far the largest population of the African immigrants living in the U.S., numbering about 327,000. Well, I can understand why Trump doesn't want them to come in. But you have to have a valid excuse. Your excuse cannot be every single time security threat. If that's the only excuse you're going to come up with, it's absolutely ridiculous. What about coming up with the truth? We've got too much African Nigerians in our country. We don't want any more. We're going to stick with what we've got, but we cannot allow any more citizens. Simples. But they can't do that. They have to make it look like Nigeria is a terrorist threat, which is absolutely ridiculous. So it also says the U.S. Census Bureau, 4% of Nigerians hold a Ph.D. I'm just reiterating what she said, just in case it didn't come over clearly or because she was going a bit fast. Um, compared to 1% of the general U.S. population. 
17% of Nigerians hold a master's degree and 20% ha 27% have a bachelor's degree. The Rice University in Texas claims Nigerians are the most educated ethnic group in the United States. And the Migrations Policy Institute said 29% of Nigerian Americans have graduate degrees compared to 11% for the overall American population ahead. 70% of Nigerian are doctors. 70% of Nigerian doctors are in America are of Nigerian descent. And they're actually superior performers. So you can't use the excuse that they do not have any merit. You have to come up with something a bit more original than that. Trump announces plans to expand the travel ban. So, like I said, Boko Haram is one of Africa's, um, well, Nigeria's largest, is, well, Africans' largest Islamic militant groups and is alleged to have killed th almost 38,000 people since 2011 and displaced another 2.5 million. But like I said, the terrorism didn't take place on American soil, it took place in Nigeria. And why wait until now when you're thinking about a terrorist threat? I mean if you think if you're if if that is your um, benchmark and it happened in 2011, why wait till 2020 to put in a ban? Does that make any sense? But then again when you're dealing with Donald Trump it doesn't always have to make sense. He just comes up with an idea and poof like magic, a policy comes out and it's happening. In 1924, the Immigration Act, aka the Johnson Reed Act, codified nativist hysteria into law. Um, basically, it's got to do with um, a set of abilities, and from that, it was deemed that blacks were inferior academically than whites um, due to biological differences and there's no proof of that of course and if and if it was true how come you got four percent more nigerians with phd than american one percent so it doesn't match it doesn't make sense um, nigerians are surpassing white americans in their education attainment which proves this information is a load of toss. Tosh. Um, wolf. Um, yeah, Wolf. Who's Wolf again? I know he's got something to do with the Trump administration. He says these countries, including Nigeria, for the most part want to be helpful, but for a variety of different reasons, simply fail to meet those minimum requires that we laid out. Minimum requirements. How can they fail to meet the minimum requirements when they're, ex when they're surpassing everyone? Does that make sense? Not unless they're not expecting people to know that Nigerians are the most educated ethnic group. Or they don't expect people to know that Nigerians have got 4% 4, 4 of Nigerians have got PhDs over 1% of white Americans. Don't they expect us to know that? Is that why they're putting this out there? Because they're not expecting people to have be privy to that information? So, they don't want any more coming in for permanent residence, or are they banning them from coming in completely? So, that's what I mean. I don't understand why you would let the, the only restriction you're placing on them is that they can't become residents. Apparently, he's peed off about the chain migration, the fact that there's residents of Nigerians here, and then, you know, relatives of them and whoever's here, they keep bringing them over, bringing them over, and they're entitled to bring them over because they're related. And that is what's peeing them off. So he's, in his head, he's thinking to himself, this is only my opinion, in his head, he's thinking, well, if we don't have any more, if we don't allow any more um, Nigerians in to be um, citizens, we, they can't then, that will put a stop to chain migration from that point on. 
because but if we continue to allow them that means the people who we continue to allow to be citizens can bring their their people over and then increase the number of immigrants in the country so i think that's his logic by stopping them from becoming immigrants but if that's your logic just say so i'm sure people will understand it's much it's much more dignified to say that and be honest than to claim that nigeria is a terrorist threat or a threat to national security when you know that's not true it just isn't true so the Trump administration on Friday afternoon, that's Friday just gone, also temporarily suspended allowing foreign nationals who have traveled to China from entering the country. This suspension went into effect, effect on 2nd of February. Now, does Trump know something that we don't know? Is it only foreign nationals that the coronavirus is going to attack? Does that mean the coronavirus is targeted to attack foreign nationals? Hmm. Otherwise, why the hell would you only stop foreign nationals from coming in, suspend foreign nationals from coming in? How bloody ridiculous! It does not include the immediate families of American citizens or people who are permanent residents from coming into the United States, even if they've been to China. Isn't that absolutely ridiculous? So are they saying that immediate families of American citizens and those with permanent residents can't catch the coronavirus? Is that what he's saying? And how would he know that if that's the case? Is the coronavirus got this little DNA or whatever it's got in there to target all the foreign nationals and the Chinese? Is that what he's admitting to? It certainly sounds like it to me. He's always bloody putting his foot in it anyway. Anyway, um... So this is not the first travel. The first version of travel ban blocked almost all immigrants and travellers to the United States from seven countries. Muslims made up the majority of the population in those countries. Court challenged the ban and it was overturned by the Supreme Court. So I wonder if this ban is going to be overturned on the same premise. If not, Starting 22nd of February, which is only a couple of weeks away, Nigerians will no longer be able to obtain visas allowing them to immigrate to the US permanently. They can travel to the US on a temporary visa, such as those for foreign workers, tourists and students, but they just cannot um, immigrate to the US permanently. In 2018, the US granted Nigerians almost 14,000 green cards. So if that's the case, and that's just last year, all of a sudden, Nigerians are a threat, and you've just issued 14,000 green cards to them? Does that make any sense at all? It definitely doesn't make any sense to me. So Nigeria is one of the top sending countries for foreign students with almost 13,000 Nigerians coming to the US in 2019. So they can come in as students. How do they not they know those students aren't a safety threat? That's what I mean. Load of bloody crap. But now the Trump administration is preventing further legal immigration from Nigeria, citing concerns about the country's security standards as well as heightened terrorist threats. African immigrants in general and Nigerian immigrants in particular are among the most educated and successful immigrants in the United States. Frank Shari, the executor, the executive director of the immigration advocacy group America's Voice said in a statement, but the success and contributions of African communities is beside the point for this administration. It's not a policy announcement based on facts. It's based on Trump's desire to make America white again. Well, that's a load of rubbish. How can you make America white when there's so much bloody mix up, mix up? 
You can't face it. How can, anyway, in the Oval Office in June 2017, Trump told his advisors at the time that Nigerians who set foot in the, in the US would never go back to their huts in Africa, the New York Times reported. And the thing is, when Nigerians are scrambling to get into America, it makes people believe that what he's saying is true. Because what Nigerians are indirectly telling Americans is, I'm getting away from Nigeria because America is better. But have you seen pictures of Nigeria? Have you ever been to Nigeria? It's far superior than America. I don't know. The only reason why Nigerians go to America is for the bloody dollar. No other reason. So don't get it twisted and think they live in bloody huts with his bloody cheek. And then talking about Haiti as they come from a shithole. The only reason why Haiti is the way it is because there's all those bloody floods and goodness knows what happened to them. I don't know much about Haiti to know how developed or how beautiful it is. Or, but I do know Nigeria is a beautiful place and it's, it's westernised and it's established and they've got beautiful buildings. So I don't know why, but the thing is, if Nigerians are scrambling to get into America, that is the impression that Americans, white Americans, are going to get. That they're leaving somewhere that is inferior. They're leaving somewhere that is like what they show on the TV with poverty, flies coming out of their mouth, little shacks, little shanty towns. That's what they believe. Why so much Nigerians are scrambling to get to America. You have to really ask yourself, why am I going to get, why am I living in America? And is it fulfilling my dream? If it is, great. But my advice would be, which was what a lot of our parents wanted to do, was do the work they've asked you to do if they've called you over to do the work, take your money back to your country and build up your country. The only thing that like my mother said, you know, when she came over here, you know, they the tax left, right and centre, you hardly have anything left. So you cannot, it's very, very difficult to save. And then once you've been here a while, all you want is a roof over your head so you're not kicked out of house and you don't have to face all these racist signs that say no dogs, no, no whites and no dogs, no blacks and no, no Irish. So most people in the end, going back to where they came from was no longer a priority. Trying to make it work in the Western world was and they saw that as a victory they saw that as an accomplishment because they faced all odds they faced racism they faced unfairness they were they were underpaid they were overworked and regardless of all of that they still made it they made it for themselves and they set the standard for my generation i set the standard for my children, but then that's where it starts getting a bit wayward because there's a generation that lost that ethic to save, to work hard and to achieve. So most Nigerians came to the US with employment-based visas or B visas, which are offered to short-term visitors, including tourists, business travelers, and people seeking urgent medical care. But the Trump administration has been denying Nigerians application for B visas as high rates at high rates over the last two years. In 2018, the most recent year for which data is available, about 57% of B visa applications from Nigeria were denied, putting it among the countries with the highest denial rates. That might be because Nigerians had the highest numbers of visa overstays 
of any African country in 2018. So they've kind of made it difficult for themselves by overstaying. As well as one of the highest rates of visa overstays of any country. Ooh, naughty, naughty. So that's why they're giving you a hard time. They feel as though you've been taking the pee. Anyway, the administration also increased fees for Nigerians associated with certain temporary visa applications last year, imposing a potential financial barrier. The visa lottery is granted to 50,000 applicants from countries with low levels of immigration, and they're selected at random to be granted green cards. For many Africans, it's the only way they can immigrate to the US but they don't have no access to the lottery anymore. Still, if keeping out Nigeria's terrorists is one of the primary purposes of the ban, it is not clear why Trump administration has chosen only to bar immigrants seeking to settle in the US permanently. So, what happens to the ones there? Or the ones who are visiting? A terrorist could just as well enter on a tourist visa which calls into question whether the national security rationale behind the ban is legitimate. Well, we all know it's not. We all know it's not. They started off with Nigeria, they'll go into somebody else, maybe Ghana, then maybe somebody else, who knows. The Immigration and Nationality Act of the United States, particularly Section 212, gives wide powers to the executive to deny or revoke visas or deny entry to non-citizens in a wide range of grounds, including health, criminal convicts, violators of religious freedom, human trafficking, drugs trafficking, money laundering, terrorist activities, security and related grounds, foreign policy grounds, torture or extrajudicial killings recruitment of or use of child soldiers, public charge, labour-related grounds, misrepresentation, smugglers and stowaways. I wonder what labour-related grounds is. Hmm. That's a bit wide, isn't it? And you see the way they just stuck it in there? I tell you, them people, yes, man. Anyway, America is allowed to regulate the entry of non-nationals and to prohibit their entering or remaining in the country, but there is no legal authority to act in an arbitrary manner or entirely outside the law. And this is why the US federal government has been sued and restrained by courts in some instances on immigration matters, especially since the Trump presidency. This is also the reason why President Donald Trump has remained exasperated at the inability of Congress to come together in a bipartisan way to consider and pass comprehensive immigration reforms that would give even more leverage to the executive. Nigerians placed on the list can seek redress to establish innocence, i.e. a request for reconsideration directed to the Attorney General, but it is probably which may, but it's probably, oh, I was going to say it's probably quite expensive, which, but it could give them a chance to be removed from the list. And that's it, my peeps. I hope you, I hope you found that interesting. I do babble a bit, but my apologies. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed already and you like what I talk about, please do subscribe and share with your friends if you think they might be interested. And to my return subscribers, hi. Touch base with you soon. Bye-bye.